chuck, 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 chuck. Hey, hi, welcome back to Ireland AM. Now, tomorrow night, eight celebrities are going to face their fears in sharks, celeb infested waters. Uh, it is a new show coming to Virgin Media uh, one and you can see it tomorrow. Yeah, and I know you're going to ask why, but to mark the occasion, we thought we'd face some sharks of our own. Joining us now is marine biologist Keelan Doyle. Good morning to hey, you, Keelan. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see Let's you. start by going to Ireland. And where can we see sharks and what type of sharks can we see around our coastline? Ireland is actually one of the hotspots in the world, believe it or not, for sharks. And sharks only live in really pristine water. So it's an indicator species. So we have lots of sharks, so Irish water. Believe it or not, it's really, really clean. What okay. kind of sharks? Everything from little dogfish, like, you know, the little dogfish you see, yeah. small guys, up to the second biggest shark in the world, the second biggest fish in the world, the Baskin sharks, which are amazing. The second biggest fish in the world is off the coast of Ireland. There yeah. it is there. Uh, uh, what sort of size would a Baskin shark the size be? Of, the size of a small bus, believe it or not, to look at them. And, what? And, and wait a minute, these sharks actually nearly became extinct because they were fished off Ireland for their livers because this was used for, for oil for lamps. But since then, numbers have come back. And if you go down the west coast of Ireland, Ackle is a really hot spot for them. These around. guys are coming back. And they go around with their mouth open all the time, do they? The reason for they do that is because they feed on microscopic plankton, tiny, tiny, tiny little animals. See, I've got some of it here, right? Okay. So if you're looking at that... That's, that's, that's all... I know it looks like maybe a sample or something yeah, like that, it wasn't but it that, is... It wasn't that Tommy went for a... No, <laughs> but there's all plankton in there. So you've got little microscopic plants, tiny, tiny little things, millions that's of them. that's what they feed around. on. They go around with their mouth open and they just keep hoovering they that suck in. suck it in. And suck it in. How important is it that we're seeing a huge rise in basking sharks off the coast of Ireland? Like, is that a, a positive thing? Do we want to see more sharks? Big time. I mean, I mean, this is International Shark Week and it's about celebrating sharks. I mean, sharks are the kings of the ocean, but the reason they're so important, they keep all other animals in check. So like the, the ocean, it's like a pyramid yeah. and they're the top of the chain. So give an example, in the coral reef areas, they eat parrotfish, they eat these crown of thorns, starfish. These guys eat the corals. So if the sharks go, these increase and then they eat the coral reef. So everything is in balance and okay. that's why we need to keep sharks. And the other thing as well, you are mentioning there about the, the plankton. That, uh, so there's, like, it just looks, that just looks like yellow water really. But you said there's tiny, tiny little plankton in this. And that's what creates all the oxygen in this earth. Every second breath of air we take here today in studio and everybody takes around Ireland comes from this stuff. Microscopic plants in the ocean. So while we talk about the rainforests, which are really important, yeah. This is our lungs. This is what keeps us alive. And if we damage this, we, dam we damage us. Really, really important. Wow. Now, I know people have seen Jaws and all those movies, so we're nearly, we're afraid of sharks. Should we be afraid of sharks? Like, when you see the, the great whites, do they attack people and why do they attack people? If they attack somebody, it's by mistake. They actually don't like us because we're too bony. So have we... They, they, oh. they, they get, we get stuck in their teeth, right? Yeah. So this, they don't like humans. They like seals, they like whales, they like dolphins. So they only eat us by mistake. So it's an accident. And in terms of what Jaws have done, we all know that it demonised them. The guy who made Jaws movie said it was the biggest mistake of his life. Wow. I mean, to give an example, you're more likely to get killed by a bee than you are by a, by a shark. And I don't know how many people... Well, I don't yeah. get in the sea yeah. very often, to be honest with you. So, exactly. So, but, they're, right. they're not bad guys, I promise. But, you. but, but, but they're, they, like, the great whites are, like, serious predators, though, aren't they? They're serious like, predators. But, like, if you look at people who have been killed, it's nearly always surfers. Yeah. Because they think that these are seals oh, that are coming man. in and they come in and they attack What them. about this little fella you have in here? Like, he, that's a baby shark in there. So we, that's quite a... So we've got a Grinch cat shark, right? We've got some albino sharks. We've got little sort of small species, some sharks, some of them that look like sharks. And again, it's just trying to sort of highlight the beauty of them. Like, they're stunning animals. They're so important. What type of shark is this? A Gringe. A shark. Gringe. And where would you get a Gringe? Where the, would these be found? Th these guys are found off the, off the coast of Philippines. I mean, to give an idea, sharks are here since before the dinosaurs. Um, another really cool fact is sharks are one of the only animals in the world that don't get cancer. So we're now trying to study Why? sharks 
We don't know, but we're trying to find out why they don't get cancer, and this is potentially something we can use for humans. Wow. So these could teach us and help us in so Plankton. many ways. Samples. Plankton. So well, tell us about these ones here, then. So you've got little Pictus cats, you've got a little albino shark, which is the little guy, the white guy. Like, how big and will these get? These, these will only get a little bit bigger. These are one of the smaller. Like, the smallest shark in the world is the size of your hand. The, okay. the largest, largest shark is the size of your size of a bus. So these get big guys. And look at this. This is what they start out on. See this? Yeah. These are called mermaids' purses. So they're little. Like, little have a look at them. They're little oh, pouches. Let's hold one up there. Yeah. So what Oops, happens sorry. is they look like seaweed because yeah. sharks are born in them for camouflage. So somebody who doesn't eat them, they stay in that until eventually I'll hold it beside you. They'll burrow out you themselves. See the little hole? Silly. That's yeah. a shark that's burst out. And you'll find these on the beach. They're called mermaids' purses okay, because they right. look like purses, and and that's what sharks are born in. And imagine a great white shark the size of a bus once started. No, it did not. A great well, white sim 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 like that. Similar, similar things like that. that. Like that. What, well, what is the? You're saying the basking sharks off Ireland are the second largest. What is the biggest shark in the world? So, biggest shark in the world is the whale shark, right? The whale shark. But the biggest look shark these, ever, these, yeah. ever, ever, ever was the megalodon shark, which was the size of two buses. Now, is this we, we know that, is this sort of myth? I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm telling you, right? But it, it's supposedly extinct. But some people believe, now this is not Loch Ness Monster stuff, that the megalodon sh shark still lives deep, in deep, the deep. And this is a tooth from an original megalodon. This was found in a cave in Malta. So this is an original tooth. Yeah, have a look at the and that's the size of him versus a great white. Great white shark. And we all think now. a great work is that. Wow. wow. So, and this is a genuine great white shark. And a tooth, genuine isn't it? megalodon. And he would have thousands of them teeth. Imagine he got a hell <laughs> huh? Megalodon does, just doesn't sound real. Like, so that was, is that like an adjacent state, a movie or something? Megalodon is a Latin word <laughs> for big tooth. Okay, right. So there you go. And there's there's a belief that there are still some of there's them. There's a belief at the that these the still somewhere. live deep down. Thirty years ago, when I was a young marine biologist, I worked off the Galapagos, and I went down in a submarine with with the the, the Seward Johnson. It's a Harwood Research Institute, and we found thirteen new species of sharks that had never ever been known. And this was three thousand feet down under the water. That's insane. Well, um, listen, so, yeah, celebrity uh, infested water starts tomorrow night on Virgin Media. Uh, Keelan Doyle, of course, people want to check out Seahorse Aquariums. Uh, happy birthday to you as well, Keelan. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and joining us uh, this morning. Very interesting. Uh, Maureen, what have we got coming up tomorrow? I oh. just want to let everyone know we were talking to the lovely people of the Hurling for Cancer. That is taking place on August uh, the 18th is when it's taking place. So you can find out more hurlingforcancer.ie. That's it from us this morning. You can catch up on today's episode or any episode of Ireland AM by signing up for free on Virgin Media Play. You can scan the QR code on the screen for all the details. Shark, shark, shark. Hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye. <laughs>